What is up, guys? Technicals here. It's here. It's in. The Hash Altcoin Black Miner F1. The FPGA that we found out about uh, about a week ago. Ordered one only a few days ago, and it's already here. It's in-house. We've been playing around with it all afternoon. We've got some uh, preliminary results and some first impressions. This thing has the potential to be big. I'm the Technicals. Let's get into it. Before that, this video brought to you by the Dynastech Easy V3 Test Bench. Simple, spacious, well built. I'm a fan of this test bench and I think you should check it out. Link is in the description below. Two things before we start. Audio is not so great because this thing's running right beside me. Second, there's no way that this video does not come off as shilly and someone starts calling shill in the comments. Why? Because I like this thing and they've got a program going where if you buy one of these and use my code, then I get a $100 coupon. That's tough because I like this device. Your trust is worth more to me than a hundred dollar coupon. So what I'd suggest you do, uh, if it comes down to it, then I'd prefer that you not use my code at checkout. If you want to buy one of these things, I'd much rather have your trust. So feel free to not use my code at all. Uh, although if you do like the results that we got here and you do want to use my code, I get a hundred dollar kickback if you use it and buy a hash altcoin black miner f1 link is in the description below enough yik yak let's get into it so real quick what the hell is this thing if you haven't been following the fpga saga uh one of my big gripes about fpgas is that they're really complex to operate they're real buggy these are super advanced pieces of electronics me i don't really know so much so i've been clamoring on about if we want mass adoption and people to get on these things we got to make it easy for them. Enter Black Miner F1. It's uh, in an ASIC housing. It's uh, uh, two FPGA boards inside of here, and it runs through a uh, the interface that's identical virtually to uh, Bitmain Ant Miner interfaces on the back end. You log in through a web browser, you make your configuration changes, and you're off to the races. It's that easy. All right, so first up, let's go through logging into this thing. It's almost identical to doing a, a Bitmain's Ant Miner series. Uh, you log in, you find the IP address for the device in your attached devices or DHCP table, log into your router, find out what the IP address is. There are other programs that you can use to do this as well. Find the IP address, plug it into a browser here like I did. You're going to be prompted for a login and password, which is root and root, just like ant miners. You get here to the configuration screen. It is going to be populated with uh, addresses from the factory. This is probably just, you know, all everybody does this. Bitmain does it too. Uh, so you're going to want to put in your information. What I did is I'm just using the pool that they are using, they were using already, and just transposed my address in there. Currently on Zen Protocol. If you drop this down, it looks like my device here came with no flashing. I haven't updated or added any bit streams into this with uh, OX Bitcoin, uh, Kekhack, Kesak, Kesak C, Lyra 2Z, Nexus Tribus, XDAG, and Zen Protocol. Started out with Zen Protocol. If you go over to their Bitcoin Talk thread that they put up on the 20th, that's about three days ago, uh, they list the uh, hash rate on Zen Protocol for a 1080 Ti at 32 mega hash per second. They also list the BTU 9P at 11 giga hash and the Black Miner F1 coming in at 21 giga hash. If we go back over to the Black Miner and check out our miner status, Looks like after about 24 minutes, it's quoting as 21 giga hash per second. Uh, that's on two uh, cores. It's two boards, rather. Uh, each board has, I think, six chips is what I, what I saw when I looked in there. And the current uh, PCB temperature at 58 and temp chip, uh, temperature of the chip itself at 58. I'm not sure if the sensor, they're just using one sensor for both things and quoting it that way. I'm not sure. Uh, also, it says fan one and two. I only saw the one fan on the intake. I didn't see a rear fan. There's not much to the setup of this. Uh, this is a far cry from the setup of a 1525 or any other FPGA where you have to load in the bitstream manually. Uh, the, uh, the, the input, the setup is virtually identical to an amp miner. You put in your wallet address, you decide which algorithm you want to hash on, and you're off to the races. This may be like some of those other ASICs that we've seen out there where you can pick which, uh, which, which algorithm that you want to hash on. I'm not sure. I've never dealt with one of those. Uh, and you can also upload new bit streams, and this is kind of the beauty of it. Uh, and this is what's kind of leading a lot of people to believe that perhaps this is an ASIC, that there are just ASIC chips on these boards, and they're just uh, they've just got different ASICs for each algorithm on there. I'm not too sure about that. You'd have to look into the uh, the the hash rate per ASIC chip or however they're doing it for each and every one of those algorithms. But I'm not too sold on that yet because it's been widely rumored and put out by Hash Altcoin that they have 10 other algorithms in development. Additionally, Algo 1, which I'm not sure that I can say right now, I have to keep it private still, 
Uh, it's very easy to find out what it is, though. Uh, is uh, currently uh, was added in uh, seemingly after this device had already been created. And so I'm not sure if just through software or programming in some way, they're able to hash on an algorithm like that. But if it was an ASIC, a true ASIC, uh, then they would have had to have that chip on the board to start with. Plus, the, uh, the same algo that I'm currently hashing on the 1525, that thing just came out. And so it does not make sense to me that these are just ASIC chips on a board uh, that they're trying to pass off as an FPGA. It, it seems to me that it is an FPGA indeed. Uh, so you can download when they release new bit streams load them on here, and you're off to the races. So obviously the big problem with this is that it centralizes it, that you're, uh, you're beheld to using uh, their dashboard, and you're dependent on them to load in bit streams. Now, someone may hack open this device and find a way to load bit streams onto this device third party outside the purview of hash altcoin. I'm sure that's going to happen eventually, but right now, as far as I know, you got to get the bit streams through them. Uh, obviously, they're interested in providing more bit streams to people because they want to sell these. Their marketing push seems to be heavy. They're partnering with content creators. They're putting up announcement threads. They're offering $100 for every referral sale. So see the link in the description below if you want to buy one. So let's check out the hash rate at the pool. Right now, we're going and we're mining on Zen Protocol Pool uh, over here under My Stats. It's quoting 29 giga hash, and we've seen that kind of thing happen before where it goes way out of whack, uh, showing average hash rate down here of 22 giga hash per second on this one miner, showing a pending balance of 0.18 Zen protocol. They're currently going for about 27 cents, and we've been up for about 30 minutes. Uh, it's saying our daily reward is going to be about 32 Zen protocol. So that's uh, going to come out to about $8.64. So if we go over to Hash Altcoin's website, and this is all public, you, uh, you may need to create a sign in. I'm not even signed in. You can go down and it'll show you their algos, their current algorithms. Uh, it'll show you the top profit ones. Uh, over here is Zen Protocol, quoting $8.04 uh, or $0.40. Uh, profit for the day, that's just the raw gross, not really profit because it's not backing out electric. Uh, and also, a lot of this stuff on their website is tailored to people who are using uh, cloud mining because you uh, the big push for hash altcoins seems to be they want people to buy the, the device and then have them host it. They run it, and then they discharge you electricity or something like that. I didn't want to do that. I want the device for myself. So you can check that out here. You can take a look at the hash rates for the other algorithms that they currently have, Algo 1 and 2. Very profitable as well, and uh, the rumor has it is they have lots of other algorithms in development, a lot of the same algorithms that other Bitstream makers have in development as well, so I'm not sure what's going on on the back end there. Now, when you get the miner, not all of these are loaded on. There's a memory limit on it, and so you have to go through a somewhat simple process to upload the Bitstreams that you do want on there. I'm sure that in future generations or through some method, they'll be able to load them all on there. But as of right now, you got to do a little bit of work. And if you're interested in trying out one of these, they do have a trial feature where you can uh, you can hop on one of these things remotely, of course, for one hour. You can uh, put in your information and then you can check the hash rate at the pool. Uh, it's, uh, it seems that they have zero people in the queue right now. When I checked this earlier, it, uh, it had zero people in the queue as well. Uh, so they've got open spots if you want to try it out. And again, their, uh, their push here at Hash Altcoin is to get you set up uh, on their hosted plan. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're reading through everything. Not everything is sort of set up with the expectation that you're going to take delivery of this thing. Uh, when you put in your order, there's no function for you to put in your address. You have to contact them and give them your address if you want it shipped to you. What I did, and I got it within three or four days, and Thanksgiving was one of those days, so it came really, really fast. So if you want to drop in some bit streams that aren't loaded on your device, it's a pretty simple process. All you have to do is download WinSCP. It's a file management FTP type program. It's free. It's open source. Go ahead and download that. You remote into your machine using its IP address, your login and password using a, a certain protocol. Uh, details in the description below. Once you get into the file system of your device, you're going to go into the bits folder, FPGA bits folder, and that's where you'll see the associated bit streams that are already loaded onto your miner. There's two files for each one. There's the bit file and there's the CFG, the configuration file. Uh, so it takes two. You're going to be able to download the bit streams that are available off of Hash Altcoin's website once you log in. You download those, extract them, and then drop them straight in to this folder. Once you're done with that, you head over into the dashboard itself over here, and you're going to take the root FS 
file and then flash that image uh, your firmware image into there basically as I as far as I understand it what it's doing is you're updating the files in the machine itself when you flash the new firmware image it then it just sort of resets it to look into the bits folder for whatever bit streams are currently available once you have that set up your drop down list over here under minor configuration is going to reflect and show you all the available bit streams that you loaded into the file system so guys like I said there's no way this video doesn't come off as shilly because there is a referral uh, thing associated with it. Uh, if you use my code, if you buy one of these things, I get a hundred dollar coupon towards future purchases. Um, I want to make it very clear because I've been very, very careful up until now about promoting things and stuff like that because your subscription and your trust is way more important. Uh, I don't need that referral income. I like it. Uh, that's the whole purpose of this channel, but uh, I'd rather uh, pass on that in order to keep growing uh, my channel and earning trust. And so uh, if you are interested in one of these things, um, then don't use my code if that, if that uh, buys me your trust moving forward. Uh, however, if you do want to check one of these out and you do want to buy one and you want to send me a $100 coupon, just use my code at checkout. It's a special they're running through uh, the end of the month. So yeah, initial impressions, I'm in love with this thing already. Uh, I have not tested other algorithms yet, uh, but I can only imagine that they are hitting the mark because other people have these things and if they weren't hitting the mark I'm sure we'd see some information about it uh, right now we've been up for a couple hours on uh, on our algorithm on our Zen protocol and it's balancing out it's settling out at about 20 21 giga hash which is exactly what it said it was gonna do uh, so yeah uh, I'm loving it. I had high hopes for it, and it's uh, it's it's meeting those expectations so far. If you want some more information on the Hash Altcoin Black Miner F1, see links in the description below. Head over into our Discord, discord.thetechnicals.io. If you've got more questions about it, just tag me in there or send me a DM. You can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm at the Technicals, and uh, check me out on Instagram at the Technicals as well. Once again, I'm the Technicals. See you next time.